what I'm getting right now is you have a strong connection with animals. You have a supernatural ability to connect with animals. You have a supernatural ability to telepath communicate with birds. You feel a strong connection to animals. You feel a strong connection to children. The reason you feel a strong connection to animals, children, nature, plants, is because you are these things. You have shape shifted into a human being who you really are is something very spiritual and high vibrational. You are very high vibrational. You have a lot of respect in the spiritual. So every single where you go, you literally have bodyguards with you. You are very famous. You are very well known. And you feel that on a deeper level. You are famous for what you do. And when I say you are famous for what you do, you are, uh, yeah, you are famous. You are, uh, you are in museums. You have written books. You have ancient wisdom books. You know a lot of ancient uh, knowledge. You know a lot about animals. You know a lot about carrying the body. You know a lot about natural medicines. You know a lot about this world. You have a gift of writing. You are so talented at writing that you don't, you don't even know why. I'm seeing someone writing something in a book. You are writing something in your book. You are journaling. And when you journal, you just freestyle. You don't know what you are. You don't know what you finna write about, but you, you, you feel the need to write. So every time you write, something new comes out. It's like the pen is doing. It's like the pen writing by itself. So every time you write, it's like the pen is writing for it by itself. Like. When you write, you don't be writing. It be the pen writing for you. You be having full-blown conversations with animals. You be having full-blown conversations with toddlers. Even though there's no such thing as children or a baby, you be having full conversation with these souls. You know how to touch people's souls. You know what the right words to say. And you know what the right things to do. So when you are having a conversation with somebody and they need a and they need advice, you know the right words to say. You trust your intuition very well. You have a strong connection with your intuition. Your intuition, your imagination is everything to you. Because your intuition is connected to your heart. And your imagination is connected to your heart. So every time you do something, every time you say something, it's from the heart. And the heart is connected to the soul. You are a very, very old soul. It's something you do 
that draws people attention to you. You attract a lot of attention every single where you go and you don't know why. Because you are famous in the spirit. Your spirit is very famous. Your soul is very famous. And you feel this. You feel, you feel like you meant to do something on a global stage. You feel like this world evolves around you because this world do evolve around you. When you read books, you don't read books out loud. When you are reading a book, you read it in your head. You read it in your head because you are reprogramming your subconscious. You are a fucking genius. Who the fuck I'm talking to? You are a genius. Everything you do, you do it with intentions. So when you do something, you set intentions behind it because... That's the magic. You are very aware of magic. When I say you are very aware of magic, yes, you are very um, aware of magic. You are aware of the magic spells. And the magic spells are words. Everything you say, it goes. I want you to say something right now. And I guarantee after this video... You're going to see it, you're going to feel it, you're going to attract it. It's going to fall in your hands. So if you say, I am rich, I guarantee you're going to see nothing but fancy shit. If you say, I am an angel, you're going to get nothing but confirmations that you are an angel. If you say I am a spirit guide, you're going to get straight confirmation you are a spirit guide to the people around you. What I'm getting right now is you are older than everybody in your family. Physical age doesn't exist. So you might be 17, but you are not 17. You are, a th your soul is 1,007 years old. 1,020. Like, your, your soul is old. You have the oldest soul in your family. And it shows. You don't like being around a lot of people. And when you are creating a project, you are focused. You don't like to be in crowded areas because the attention is always on you. You a type of person that doesn't like attention. But somehow attention in the spotlight is always on you. Because these people recognize your spirit and soul. Your spirit and soul is still talked about to this day. You have written books. You have been in movies. So what I'm getting right now, whoever I'm speaking to, you are in movies. You have written books. You were a doctor. You still a doctor, but you, you was a doctor. You are a teacher. The way you teach is a fucking amazing. You teach a lot about self-care. You teach a lot about meditation, yoga, astral projection, food, the body. The mind, the spirit, the soul. 
You teach a lot about everything. Relationships. Feminine energy, masculine energy. Animals. You know a lot about this world. There is no box for you. I'm saying no one can put you in a box in this world because you have did every single goddamn thing. I'm hearing that you skydived before. If you haven't skydived in this lifetime, you definitely skydived in the previous lifetime. You know how to fly a plane. You know how to fly. You know how to fly a helicopter. You know how to build houses. You know how to build things with your hands. Your hands is very, it's very magical. You know how to build a lot of shit with your hands. You feel me? You know how to start a campfire. You And you take care of yourself very, very well. You have a strong mind. The mind you have is a fucking amazing. You special. The heavens is cheering your name. The heavens is talking about you. And you may think this shit bullshit. No, it's not bullshit. The heaven is talking about you. And you have a lot of enemies in this lifetime. Your enemies from your previous lifetimes, I mean, it could be, man, it could be five, ten lifetimes ago. Your enemies is in this lifetime. Your enemies follow you in every lifetime. So if you, quote, unquote, Merc somebody, just know that soul that you murked in the previous lifetime, it followed you in this lifetime. You feel me? Your ancestors don't let shit slide. Your ancestors don't care. I'm hearing your ancestors are demons. Literally. You are a angel. That destroys evil. So when I say you are an angel that destroys evil. Yes. Put two to two together. Yes. Yes. You feel me? That's why you observe so much. Because you went through some things in your in your past lives. That made you observant. That made you more calm. That made you balance your demons. Because I'm hearing in. Your previous lifetimes, like you was a wild, you was wild, you was you was known for what you do. So like, you was wild, and you was very talented, very creative. You was very of just you. And in this lifetime, you learn to banish your demons. You learn to banish your demons. You learn to balance out the dark side and the light side. You are not afraid of your dark side you're not afraid of your light side you have a balance between both you feel me you have a balance between your feminine energy and your masculine energy frequency and manifestation feminine energy frequency masculine energy manifestation i'm hearing that you your soul know what I'm talking about. If you are a feminine watching this video, you created masculine energy. You are the most powerful being on this fucking planet. You know someone's deepest secrets narcissists hate to be around you because you be doing these you be you be doing shit on purpose like when you are in a conversation you it's like a detective you are like a police officer it's like it's like psychology but 
that shit not like psychology. It's like a it's like a formula you only use. You only have the the recipe to your sauce. Only you have the recipe to your sauce, so you know how to break a motherfucker down. You feel me? You know how to really break a motherfucker down. You know what I'm saying? People breaking your presence like an uh, insecure person, they breaking your presence. You know what I'm saying? They might they might say something out of fear. You know what I'm saying? People fear you because your spirit, your soul is, is so intense. And what I'm getting right now, you look so pure, no one would, no one would even guess who you are. You feel me? No one would, would even guess who your spirit is. No one would guess who your soul is. You know what I'm saying? No one was to guess. You are in the skies right now. I'm hearing that you have a lot of say-so. You got a lot of contact. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of contact. You know what I'm saying? You are very active in the ethers. You are very active in the... In the dream world, you are very active. Like, I'm hearing, like, your, your enemies be, be scared to go to sleep because they know they're going to see you. You feel me? I'm hearing you do not fear your enemies. You love your enemies. So every time you see your enemies, it's like you you get some type of thrive out of that. Like, you get some type of thrive out of that. Like, you, you be happy to see your enemies. But your enemies don't be happy to see you. Your enemies be trying to run away from you. That's all I'm hearing right now. But yeah. Thank y'all for watching this video. This video is not for everybody. But this is for somebody. And. Hey.